There's safety in numbers, and with 1.3 billion people, China must be the safest place on Earth. At least, that's what the Ministry of Public Security seems to think. On Tuesday, state-run People's Daily posted new statistics from the ministry that say murders, assault and robbery have dropped in recent years. So much so that the rates of these crimes are lower than that of Switzerland or Japan, considered two of the safest countries in the world. Police also claim they successfully finalized almost 95 percent of murder investigations. Many Chinese citizens were quick to lambast the report as propaganda and lies. Evidence seems to suggest that crime rates would be much higher, but police mostly ignore reports. Guangzhou-based human rights lawyer Tang Jingling told NTD that funeral parlors there burn several hundred unidentified corpses each year, and there's rarely an investigation into where those corpses come from. In China, a lot of cases have not been placed on file for investigation. I personally have experienced several cases myself, and my brothers and sisters have too. They have encountered this before. Many criminal cases haven't been filed. Some also questioned whether justice is really carried out by law enforcement. The country is known for having large numbers of prisoners of conscience as well as unofficial detention centers. When they open black jails, this means people are illegally deprived from freedom. This is what they call crime cases. Do they file these cases? Is there a criminal offense? Actually, crime rates in China are certainly much higher than in Japan and other countries. Activist Guoyong Feng says public security officials are more concerned with carrying out orders from central authorities rather than protecting the public. They spend a lot of time in stability maintenance to keep the Communist Party's one-party dictatorship. They do not take into account people's livelihood and don't even care about the murder cases. This is because they have neither the financial resources nor the manpower for this. The report by the Ministry of Public Security comes close on the heels of promises by Chinese leader Xi Jinping to stamp out corruption within the party as well as calls for greater open criticism of the party by the public.